Trey Baker, where are you? Stop testing. Yo. Hold on, make a game. Oh, I like. I think it's one of the things I love the most about this is really being able to look at every character and every circumstance in a completely different way. I feel like I've never seen this side of Selena, so it's really cool to get to explore that. Harvey Dent is a beast. It's almost like looking at a bomb that doesn't have a fuse in it yet. I didn't think there was any way I was going to be able to be in any other Telltale game because I'd already kind of gotten spoiled on one. And the fact that they had me try to pull this thing off was scary, but it was very cool. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. I have a tendency to overthink things and overcomplicate things. And so for me, the process is to not have a process. It's to really try to turn your brain off and just be open to the story that we're telling because it really is different. It's really about not pulling from and paying homage and tipping the hat to previous versions of this, but really trying to come up with your own version. Yeah, so many people have played Catwoman and they've all done amazing jobs. So you can walk down that path of looking at their performances and feeling like you'll never live up to it, or you can try to have a fresh take on everything. And don't forget to change into your suit. There's so much in between the lines and there's so much in the character interaction that finding her myself has been really cool. I like the, the, the how offended she is that he thinks she's owned. I think Harvey Dent is a, is a fairly altruistic person. I think he believes in doing things in an honest way as often as he can, but I think he recognizes the environment that he's in. He knows that Gotham City has some very powerful players, some very dark sides to it, and that he has to be able to manipulate and work those sides in order to achieve his goals. And I wanted the change, if it comes, to be one that is as dramatic as possible. I'm sorry, Bruce, the makeup person is here. <laughs> I guess she needs to put on my face. Lately, we've been getting to record with Troy or Travis, which is such a blessing. Are you saying you don't trust me? I'm saying I probably shouldn't. You can live and breathe, and you guys can maybe ad-lib a little bit together. You know, if Troy does a little funny line, you get my chuckle at the beginning of the do you line. Want him, do you need another one? There's those reactions that you don't get outside of an ensemble recording. I'm always amazed at what Laura can pull off. She makes it look effortless. It's frustrating. Or should Bruce be awkward and she's confident? And then Travis can always kind of push me to a level that's way deeper and way more grounded. It's so unique in that recording the dialogue based on situational choices is a great challenge for an actor because it's not a, a straight through storyline. You have to be able to reset your mind every couple of lines and go, okay, no, basically Based on this choice, how would I react? Okay, based on this choice, how would I react? What happened just before this? And that's very difficult. Recording for a Telltale game is like nothing else out there. I feel like Batman really does an amazing job of walking that gray line. You don't know if somebody is a villain or a good guy, and players finally get to play as the playboy or the man behind all the masks. In other games, you never get to see that aspect. You're wearing the cowl, you're driving the car, you're beating up bad guys. You still get to do that in this game, but it's about who Bruce Wayne is after he's decided to become Batman and the tools that he has at, at his disposal as that billionaire playboy. How do you want to play this? You're going to wear a mask throughout this game. You just get to choose. Either it's going to be the billionaire or it's going to be the bat. 